So now we're going to remove these screws. There's two on this side because we got to remove this right here. And there's two on this side. So we're going to work on these first. I got to remove both of these. Let's see what's Actually, another screw I didn't see hiding down here. So you want me to get that one out? Got him. There's another one in there. And the same way. job extra hard and uh, replace the F1 fuse so now I got my little labels this is what I'm gonna do when I remove these um, these cables the flex cables I'm gonna label them so I remember exactly which one goes where because if you put the wrong one in the wrong hole you could potentially mess up your motherboard and you don't want to do that so now we're going to start from right and go down. So you just want to slightly pull them. I'm going to label this bad boy. Some people might just decide to write if you don't got any stickers or anything like that. It don't have to be fancy. You can just write with a marker. So you remember where the hell you putting these things. So that's number one. Keep it on the side that all right. So what they do, they got the little tape down there. So they had some tape securing it on top of Make sure I'm putting it on the side that's actually gonna go into. So I don't forget that. So three. Tape here. That's four. 
When I do all this, I got to get down to the nitty gritty because hopefully this ain't something I'm going to have to do too often. I had this machine for about a year and it's been running good up until now. So hopefully I do this. This will put me in the game and I won't have to mess with it for at least another year. Shoot. Other than just normal cleanings and stuff like that. Okay. Kind of see all the stuff is. Okay, so now we're going to seven. be able to mark these but we got the red one on the right the white one on the left and a little black one That one has a lock, so you gotta pull the little bottom part up and then pull this to release it. All right. After you do that, I'm gonna take out these four screws. Now what I'm going to do, before I try to switch out the fuses, I'm going to check it with my multimeter to make sure that the fuse is bad. So if it gives me a beeping sound like this, okay, then it's good. But if it doesn't give me that beeping sound, then I know it's not, it's not good. So use the F1 fuse right here. Here's the new fuse, so I just want to... So I'll 
Finally got it back in there. It's not the prettiest job, but hey, that shit's in there. And now I'm about to test it. You guys can see a little bit. So, let's go ahead and try to test it. And see what we got. Yeah. This is working. Now that we got the F1 fuse. So it's back in there. So we'll go ahead and put it back on in. back in there just want to make sure they good and secure one more check over have it next thing I gotta do is just put the paper roll back together and um, plug it back in we're good to go <laughs> 